Hey everybody! So, lots of us have been on Twitter today telling you all that you don't need super fancy microphones to start out. Like, hey, really nice, don't need it. Okay, so, here's the thing. We've been saying that room treatment is more important than the microphone you use, and it is. But what does that mean? Well, listen, you can hear my voice, it's bouncing off all the walls. When you speak, your voice makes vibrations in the air. That's how sound works. But then it goes out in a bubble, a circle, 360 degrees in a sphere all around you, and it bounces off that wall, and that wall, and the ceiling and floor, and those two walls. And then it comes back to your microphone, and we can hear that. So, how do you stop it? Well, that's room treatment. And sometimes people put up those little foam panels, and they don't work, because they're not enough to stop the sound from getting back off all the rest of the walls. So what do you do? Some people will set up shop in a closet, which is fine. Closet, well, this one doesn't. You can hear that. This closet does not make a good sound booth, because you can hear all these tight, real close little reverberative echoes, and that's not good. You would need to treat this before you can use it, which means padding it so that you don't have all those reverberations. And that's why we have sound booths. Now, you don't need to spend a whole lot of money on a sound booth. Um, and I have here, and we can hear it. So, like, when you get into a treated area, ah uh ha -huh, listen. Uh, you can't hear the echo of my voice anymore. This sounds so much better. And I'm on a phone camera. I'm on a little tiny phone microphone. But the point is, you need to treat your area. So how do you do that? How? Um, well, you can use rock wool, which is house insulation. Be sure to cover it with some kind of material. Uh, get the safe and sound. You could use Airtex, high-density um, furniture. Uh, furniture foam for couch cushions and things like that. You can use blankets, lots and lots of blankets. You can use cushions, you can use pillows, you can use moving blankets, you can build yourself a PVC booth, but the important part is understanding what it is you're trying to do. And what it is you're trying to do is to keep your voice from bouncing off that wall and that wall and those walls and the ceiling and floor. All you have to do is keep your voice from bouncing off the wall and back into your microphone. And as long as you can hear what it's doing and that you can hear that it's no longer doing that, that's all you need to do. It does not matter how expensively you do it, how cheaply you do it. All you have to do is make sure that you get rid of that room noise and you're going to do fine. And uh, I know you guys are all going to do great. So keep in mind what you need to do and happy recording. Take care, everyone.